welcome to Snickerdoodles, part one and two. Your lovely, beautiful <laughs> fax teacher is coming over. With a wire, because I have a microphone. All right, so today we're going to be making Snickerdoodles, which are a type of molded cookie. Started. Okay, but you're not over the wax paper. Hold up a second. Oh my, he's doing exactly what my students do. Do. So we're going to explain to them. He's measuring three quarters of a cup of sugar. So what size measuring? This okay. Is a half okay, but and a okay. quarter. So that's what that piece of wax paper is for. Putting it on that one. All right. No, and then you're going to put it over there, right? Yeah. Okay. Do we need to restart again? Nope. Let's just go with it. Okay, but again, that should be on here. He's heaping it over, but they can't see because that's in the way. Just okay. came from flying too. Good. They don't care. Okay, a half cup of margarine is going to be one full stick, and then all that extra is going to go back in there. So you're going to bring the sugar over to you, so you don't make a mess. So you're responsible for the sugar. So if they didn't do a half cup and a quarter cup, what measuring cup can they use three times? A quarter. A quarter of a cup three times, and then we're going to put everything to the side. Okay, I'm going to be cracking the egg in the custard bowl and then Jake's going to be grabbing the baking soda and he knows he's going to need two pieces of wax paper he's going to need the set of measuring spoons and he's going to need a leveler but you're going to cut that in half because you're not going to need two big pieces so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking my egg so I think we watched a video and you just kind of crack it all around and watch this it should just separate voila I'm just going to put it on a piece And he's going to, again, put it on his wax paper. That's what the wax paper is for. There's a leveler in this. Okay, but I'm not going to show them with that. I want them to use the leveler. There's, there's not a leveler in there. It's just a straight edge on there. So he's heaping it over. He's making it so you guys can see. I'm just taking a deep breath here as I wait. Okay. It, it also calls for one and a quarter cups of flour. Okay. So again, the, it's actually one and a quarter cup plus three tablespoons. So it's a very odd measurement. You're going to just put that to the side. Okay. Because it used to call for um, a lot more cookies that it made. We kind of don't I have the space here. This. How do I get okay. Can you just give me a second to do this first? I don't want you doing that right now. So just hold up a second because you need to help me. How much flour do I need? Because I can't see it. Uh, one and a quarter cup plus three tablespoons of flour. Okay. So I need the one cup. I need the quarter cup. And I need three tablespoons. So why do you think we need a big enough piece of wax paper, Jay? Because it's a lot. Okay, because it's a lot, and Mrs. Sour, Cuckoo Mrs. Sour, wants to see all the, the piles. So I actually have a bigger piece of wax paper. You're supposed to say you're not cuckoo. Oh, I okay, guess, cuckoo. guess he thinks I'm cuckoo. So it's one cup, a quarter cup. So I don't have the container like you guys have at school. I'm just using the bag of flour. So again, you're going to heap it over. I'm going to level it off, and then I'm going to go one cup. I'm going to do quarter cup. So again, it's important you have a big enough piece of wax paper. Quarter cup in another pile. And then I'm going to actually just take right from this pile. Probably will need more. And how many tablespoons, Jake? Three. So I'm going to go one. I'm going to go two, and we may do this whole video, and then they're not even going to be able to hear me because the speaker's not working. And then I'm going to have to say we're going to watch the old one because the old one was probably better. <laughs> I was much younger, and so were you. Yeah. All right, so now we have the flour. Okay, so we're going to put the lunch. flour. You can wait a second until we have some room here, guy. So how many people? Are you really blowing with everything here? What are you doing it? Blowing it on my floor too? What the heck? 
What what is this? What is what is that? What is this? Is this something that we need? Why we is don't need this. okay? So then and we don't you get rid of that. Baking no. soda. I don't sugar, know if you guys flour. could see the mess, but we have baking soda all over. Sugar, baking soda, flour, flour, egg. You're doing the salt, and I'm doing the cream of tartar. So we already have. So I already have some already cut up. <laughs> oh, I'm just making my own. Okay. So he's going to do the salt. I'm going to do the cream of tartar. So the baking soda and the cream of tartar are the leavening agents here. Make sure with the cream of tartar. So what else are you going to need? Before you do anything, do you have one close by? Right there. You would have to go over. Oh, boy. That was pretty oh. close by. Okay, pretty close by. Okay. So I'm going to suggest that I put my glasses on for this. <laughs> And how much cream of tartar do I need? One teaspoon of cream of tartar. Okay, now, so with the cream, you can there. try to get it back in there without getting it all over. Okay, professional, you're just like your mother, huh? You learn from the best. Uh -uh. So, with, so with the cream of tartar, I suggest you just pour it. Jake, they can't see. Oh, what are you I'll doing? Fix it. Sorry, children. He's gonna be sorry after this. He's definitely not getting paid now. There was no chance of that ever happening. He goes, oh, am I going to really get paid? Can I get Xbox? You're not getting... Are you even kidding me? You just got how much stuff for Christmas? Okay. The cream of tartar is going to go right back in. Okay, I hope that was a teaspoon because you're messing me up now. Well, let's hope so, children. Okay, do we have everything measured? Hopefully he measured the salt right. So a quarter of a teaspoon, there's only one set of measuring spoons that actually has uh, the quarter of a teaspoon. So let's check. We got one big mess here. We have our margarine, which is one stick. We have three quarters of a cup of sugar, one egg crack, no shell, no blood, one and a quarter cups, plus three tablespoons. Boom, 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 I wanna see it like that. Your half teaspoon of baking soda, your one teaspoon of cream of tartar, and then your little bit of salt. All right, so then we have our names with our directions. You're going to get Mrs. Sour, me, to check it, all right? And we're going to go along with our directions. So I'm going to be, let me just put this in the bowl, and then you're going to put your three things, I think it's three, into that bowl. So let me what, just what give, give me, we're going to, well, I don't know, maybe we should read the directions and figure it out. Okay, so flour. un momento, por favor. So I just said, let me put mine okay, in, and ahead. then you're going to read go yours, ahead. just go like ahead. they should in, just like they should in class. So in the electric I'm mixing going. bowl, I'm going to cream together the margarine, the sugar, and the egg. I'm going to carefully bring this over. The margarine, the sugar, and the egg. So I'm going to open this up. Just give me a second. So I've had this out at room temperature. The margarine, I'm going to carefully put the sugar. We're going to be using the paddle attachment this time with our electric mixers. You're going to see that okay. I actually went out and bought a mixer as well, just like at school, but mine is white. And then my egg. I'm going to press that button, okay, and it says to do this until smooth. And then Jake's going to be doing in a medium-sized bowl, using a wooden spoon, combine the flour. So now it can go all together. So what he should be doing is taking it from the sides like that I was too. Doing that. At, I'm just showing oh. you at the same time. I love my son. Oh, let's get it into the bowl. Oh boy! Oh, oh boy! Oh boy! I, I know, Louis. I know, Lou. Lou, just stay over there because you're going to become white in a moment. Salt. Salt. I'm going to get this going. Oh, is it plugged in? <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, oh, is, it, is this not plugged in? Fantastic. Oh, no. Hey, Lou, don't lick the flower. What the heck is going on? You broke it. Oh, oh no. Don't tell me this. Is so Whoopsie. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. How's that cream of tartar on your Does nice white sweat? Yeah, I hope not. I don't know. That's why you should have an apron on. It comes right off, Susan. So if you're not wearing an apron, cream of tartar. Oh, they'll be, they'll be using an apron. So you're going to very slowly stir that together. It's going to go all up. Oh, my gosh. Now he's easing in the crook of his arm. Well, I hope you guys are getting a nice laugh out of this one. Easy, easy, easy. Now, some students are taking la, 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 la. 
la 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 okay it just takes you know like a minute 30 seconds you want to keep it in the bowl don't have don't do what he's doing what are you doing to me oh my god oh Steve. come on he's supposed to be doing things right how to make a milkshake the wrong way i don't know if you guys want to All right. Okay. That much that we lost. No. Okay. Carefully pour. This is Jake. The this flour is mixture. Yes. Into the medium bowl with the cream mixture until blended. Do you think you're capable of putting that in there? Of with course. okay, but you see where this is. You may have a hard time. Oh no, I got it. Okay. Let's. Yeah. How are you going to do that with that in the way? I'm gonna. How? Go like oh, that. Okay. No. 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 I'm scared. I'm gonna take this yeah, off. Why don't you just take it off? I make it easier. Good. Good. So if you feel more comfortable, I would take this off if it is in the way. Okay, he got it all in there. I'm gonna put this back on. No 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 no. None of that. And this is gonna lock. I'm gonna put this down and we're gonna stop. <laughs> you guys better not be doing anything in back of my me when Stop it. We're going to start off slow. Why do you think we're going to start off slow, Jake? Because it... Or because it's slow. Why do you think we put in the flour? We're going to go slow at first. What do you think is going to happen oh, with gonna, the... Oh, it's going to like come out. It's going to come up and give me a facial. So that's going to mix, and then we're just going to show them what we're going to be doing for day two, but then I think we're going to go with it. Does this say how much time? How much time have we taken already? Oof, we got to get going. I know you're doing something. I'm okay. Look at the camera. Okay, so actually that's good. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to get all this batter you're gonna see it's more like a cookie dough now not like the brownies was a more pourable um, I'm gonna put this over here for now so what you guys are gonna do in school is not go to the refrigerator and take a glass of iced tea Very good, sweet tea. Purely. and then you're gonna take all your dough see how I'm scraping Getting in that bowl, I keep going around. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm gonna grab my wooden spoon. Oh, we're gonna scrape that all in. We're not gonna smush it. And then you're just gonna take. And put it in the you're gonna fold it like a present, and then you're gonna hand it to your teacher. Okay, but we're gonna kind of move on and continue with the video. Yours is gonna go in the refrigerator. Let's just, can you grab these two trays, Jake, and bring them over here? Because we're just going to do this right now. So on day two, you guys are going to come in, trying to keep the paper on. We've got a little bit of a mess going here. You're going to come in, and I'm going to have this. I'm going to cut it into two. Now, this dough is going to be a little bit, ours is going to be a little sticky, because we just, okay, so... Let's try this again. Let's hope my mic is working. I am now a one woman show here again. So, <laughs> oh, okay, so here is the other half. So I already put in half of the uh, cookies in the oven because I didn't need you to watch me um, roll the cookies the whole batch, all right? So I, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna cut the dough in half that way each side of the lab is going to be able to uh, roll the cookies out all right you're each going to have some cinnamon and sugar here this is why they call it a molded cookie all right and this is why it works better once it's chilled you definitely want to chill your dough it's almost impossible to roll it right after preparing the cookie dough so you have to refrigerate it at least two hours okay or 24 hours or 48 hours like we'll be doing uh, in school so you want about the size of a walnut 
You're going to quickly roll it in the palm of your hand, and then you're going to put it in that cinnamon sugar mixture. So I've already got about 14, so you should get anywhere from 28 to 30, okay, depending on the size. So I try to go, I'll give you uh, like a demo, and um, I won't roll it in the cinnamon and sugar, and then you could kind of keep putting it uh, next to the one that I did roll. If you're wondering where Jake is, I did not even tell him I was doing this half of the video. I don't know if my blood pressure um, could handle um, him helping me uh, right now. Okay, <laughs> so I was a little stressed with him. I would think after years of doing videos with him, he would know to have two pieces of wax paper and to have a leveler out. So um, he definitely is not getting paid uh, for the snickerdoodle video. Oh well, we had some fun. And it's now 6.44 at night. So roll it put it into the cinnamon and sugar. And again, we're gonna have our parchment paper. Parchment paper replaces greasing a cookie sheet and also helps us with cleanup, okay? Because the day when you do bake them, you're gonna have just enough time to bake them and bag them, let them cool, and then take them um, on your way, all right? So I'm gonna go about three across and then four down. And then if there's any room in between, Sorry, I'm just looking at my timer. It's saying about 16 seconds, so I am hooked up to the iPad. So I don't know how I'm going to do this. They do need a couple more minutes. So I may have a timer that's gonna be going off and gonna to continue to go off for about two minutes until they are ready. So I have nobody to help me with this and I can't unplug from my iPad right now. So I'm using the iPad now, and then when I just did this video, it said that I had no storage on the iPad. Meanwhile, I have tons of storage. So you guys are just gonna listen to that go off. It's gonna keep probably going off. I hope the whole oven doesn't go off on me. With my luck, it will. Lulu's, Louie's over there sleeping. Hi, Lulu's, you wanna come over? I don't think you come over. So you see how I'm going three, and then I'm gonna go Four. So three across and four down. Come here, Lolos. He thinks he's going to get some. So remember, you want your cookies all the same size so they can cook at the same rate. So three across, four down. Just have to be careful with these cookies because they do, they can roll right off. Um, so I always feel more comfortable if I put it in the oven and I take it out of the oven for you as well that way you're able to eat your cookies so i have three across four down but i'm going to probably be able to make at least two more cookies here so i'm going to roll them i'm going to put them hey lulus did you say hi to everybody look at the camera lulus i'm not crazy i'm talking to the kids no i'm crazy did you say yes <laughs> so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in between here somewhere too he thinks i want to play no, you're not getting a bone. He's looking for a bone. All right. Don't want to forget about my other cookies. So just there's a little, so these are going to spread out um, a little bit. So how am I going to do this? Oh, no. So I'm going to see if my cord is going to reach it. I'm going to move away for a moment. I'm going to grab my oven mitts for a moment. I think I'm going to be able to do this. You just can't see me. Hi, Lou. Oh, watch out. That's hot, Lulos. Okay, so my cookies just came out of the oven. You're going to want to let them sit for about a minute because they come out and they're going to be really, really hot. All right. If you take them off right away, they're going to fall apart. If you think I'm talking fast, I am because I just ran out of storage again on my son's um, iPad. All right. So basically what you want to do is have your right hand. If you're a righty, I have my spatula in my right hand and I'm going to hold the tray. All right. After it's cooled, mine has already cooled. You're going to then place them on the cooling rack. Okay. It's important that you let them continue to cook on the hot cookie sheet. You're just gonna place them right on your counter. Give it about one to two minutes, I always say. Okay, you see why I'm holding this? Because this pan is hot. And then you're gonna then let them transfer them to the uh, cooling rack. Two people will be doing this at the same time, and then they're gonna go into your bag, okay? And as always, I'm gonna taste that cookie in front of you and let you know how yummy it is. 
Mm. Delicious. Nice and soft. Good luck making the snickerdoodles, which are a molded cookie, one of Mrs. Sour's favorites. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I